Welcome to Review Central. This is DCAT reviewer number 3, featuring questions for the DCAT mental ability subtest. This reviewer is intended for those who are eyeing, or are set to take, the DLSU College Admission Test, or DCAT. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous DCATs. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button, to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer, or other review materials on this channel. Let's begin. Question number 1. If a number is multiplied by 7, the result is 63. What is 5 times the number? A. 35 B. 36 C. 40 D. 42 E. 45 The correct answer is E. 45. Let X be the number. Multiplying the number by 7 will give us 63. Hence, we can easily solve for x to be 9. Therefore, 5 times the number is 45. Question number 2, given two statements, as follows, Statement 1, all strawberries are fruits. Statement 2, no fruit tastes bitter. Disregarding commonly known facts, which of the following logically follows the two given statements? A. Some fruits taste bitter. B. Some bitter things are fruits. C. No strawberry tastes bitter. D. All of the preceding. E. None of the above. The correct answer is C. No strawberry tastes bitter. The given statements and their relationships and or interactions can be represented in a Venn diagram as shown. You may press the pause button and take time to study the Venn diagram. Let's evaluate the given answer choices based on the generated Venn diagram. The statement, some fruits taste bitter in option A cannot be true, since it is already clearly stated in statement number 2 that no fruit tastes bitter, as clearly shown by the shaded areas 3 and 4. The statement, some bitter things are fruits in option B is not a logical conclusion either. The same shaded areas 3 and 4 in the Venn diagram clearly indicates that no fruits are bitter and no bitter things can be fruits. The statement, no strawberry tastes bitter in option C, on the other hand, is a logical conclusion. Why? Because areas 3 and 6 which are the areas common to both strawberries and bitter, are both shaded, signifying that, indeed, no strawberry tastes bitter. Take note that many logical reasoning problems, particularly syllogisms, are answered with the help of Venn diagrams. Although it is possible to solve syllogisms without using Venn diagrams, using Venn diagrams can be the easiest, fastest, and most consistent way to solve syllogisms. Therefore, it is highly recommended that you learn how to use Venn diagrams. Check out the suggested link in the description for a video tutorial to quickly learn the basics of using Venn diagrams and solving logical reasoning problems. Question number 3. Which of the following words is most similar in meaning to the word capricious? A. Volatile. B. Sturdy. C. Infectious. D. Safe. E. Mercurial. The correct answer is A. Volatile. Capricious means sudden change in mood or behavior which is closest in meaning to the word volatile. Question number 4. Find the missing term in the sequence. P. N. Blank. J. H. A. Letter F. B. Letter G. C. Letter I. D. Letter K. E. Letter L. The correct answer is E. Letter L. To complete the letter sequence, simply skip one letter backwards in the alphabet, starting from P. P. Skip O. N. Skip M. Blank. Skip K. J. Skip I. H. 
Therefore, the missing letter in the sequence is L. Question number 5. Referring to the numbers on the table to the right, which number is the odd one out? A. 18 B. 24 C. 51 D. 65 E. 71 The correct answer is E. Number 71 is the odd one out. Why? Because 71 is a prime number, while all the others are not. By the way, did you know that there are 25 prime numbers between 1 and 100? Prime numbers include large numbers and can continue well past 100. You will probably not need to know prime numbers beyond 100, but it may be a good and worthwhile idea to know and memorize, if possible, all the prime numbers below 100, as they are often featured in many mathematics and numerical tests. Question number 6. Referring to the figure to the right, which man carries more weight? A. The one behind. B. The one in front. C. Both men carry the same weight. D. Either the one behind or the one in front. E. None of the above. The correct answer is B. The one in front. The man in front carries more weight than the man behind, as the package is closer to him than to the other one. Question number 7. Which figure best completes the pattern? The correct answer is D. The missing figure must have a square, circle, down arrow, and star. This is to make the missing figure identical with the figure in the first quadrant, since the figures in the second and fourth quadrants are identical. Question number 8. The numbers in each cell of the table follow a certain pattern. Complete the table by finding the missing number. A. 10 B. 12 C. 14 D. 16 E. 18 The correct answer is C. The missing number is 14. The number sequence is 2, 4, 8, and 14, and alternating up and down positions, with each number paired with its square. That is, 2 squared is equal to 4, 4 squared is equal to 16, 8 squared is equal to 64. The missing number, when squared, must be equal to 196. The square root of 196 is 14. Therefore, the missing number is 14. Question number 9. Man is to men, in the same manner that A. Goose is to gooses. B. Wife is to wives. C. Oxen is to ox. D. Louse is to lice. E. Moose is to mooses. The correct answer is D. Louse is to lice. The analogous relationship between the given pair of words is. Singular form is to plural form. Men is the plural of man, in the same manner that lice is the plural of louse. On the other hand, the plural of goose is geese, not gooses, and the plural of wife is wives, not wives. Oxen is indeed the plural of ox, but their positions have been swapped. Insofar as moose is concerned, the only correct plural is also moose. Sometimes people add an s to moose, but that is incorrect. Moose derives from Algonquian, a Native American language. It kept the same plural ending it had in its original language instead of adopting the normal s ending of most English plurals. Question number 10. Given two statements, as follows, statement number 1, no insects are birds. Statement number 2, all birds are flying animals. Disregarding commonly known facts, 
which of the following logically follows the two given statements? A. No animals are birds. B. All animals are birds. C. All birds that are animals are also insects. D. Some birds that are animals are also insects. E. None of the above. The correct answer is E. None of the above. The given statements and their relationships and or interactions can be represented in a Venn diagram as shown. You may press the pause button and take time to study the Venn diagram. Based on the generated Venn diagram, none of the choices can be concluded. There is actually a fundamental flaw to this syllogism that, if you noticed it on the onset, should make you immediately conclude that none of the options can be a logical conclusion for the given statements. That is the use of the modifying adjective, flying, in the second statement. So in the second statement, it is specified not only that all birds are animals, but that they must be flying animals. However, none of the answer choices specified flying animals. Nevertheless, even if we remove the modifying adjective flying in the second statement, none of the answer choices can be deemed as a logical conclusion still, based on the Venn diagram. The statement, no animals are birds in option A, is not a logical conclusion, since there's the unshaded area 4, which suggests that animals can be birds. The statement, all animals are birds in option B is also not a logical conclusion, since there's the shaded area 3, which suggests that some animals are not necessarily birds. The statement, all birds that are animals are also insects in option C is also not a logical conclusion. Why? Because all birds that are animals are represented by area 3. But it is shaded, which means that birds that are animals are not insects. Finally, the statement, some birds that are animals are also insects in option D is also not a logical conclusion, following the same reasoning we used in option C. Therefore, the correct answer is E. Take note that many logical reasoning problems, particularly syllogisms, are answered with the help of Venn diagrams. Although it is possible to solve syllogisms without using Venn diagrams, using Venn diagrams can be the easiest, fastest, and most consistent way to solve syllogisms. Therefore, it is highly recommended that you learn how to use Venn diagrams. Check out the suggested link in the description for a video tutorial to quickly learn the basics of using Venn diagrams and solving logical reasoning problems. You have just completed DCAT Reviewer number 3, which featured questions for the DCAT Mental Ability subtest. If you wish to watch more DCAT reviewers for the DCAT Mental Ability subtest, check out our DCAT Mental Ability Reviewers playlist. Check out also our other DCAT playlist for other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central, and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified, whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful, and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming DCAT, and we look forward to your exciting days as a Lazalian. Animo LaSalle